This week marks the beginning of a celebration honoring the life and legacy of Elvis Presley. One of the highlights of Elvis Presley week in Memphis is the ultimate tribute artist competition where a grand champion will be crowned. The singer's birthplace has a strong track record in the contest. And as Allie Martin reports, this year's Tupelo ETA has been working hard all summer for the big event. Before leaving for Elvis week at Graceland, Jesse Aaron went through a mini boot camp to make sure he was ready. We go through, you know, interview, the interview process, you know, how to carry himself. We go over all of his wardrobe to make sure that he's got the right choice for the numbers that he's doing. We go through everything. Jesse Aaron won the Tupelo ETA competition in June and has been working hard ever since to represent the singer's birthplace in Memphis. I kind of put myself through uh, uh, some uh, extra workouts. I put myself through extra dieting, and it's just been constant. So it's been almost like four or five times a week when I'm home, uh, and I barely had any time off to the point where my wife is telling me to take time off and sit down and relax, and I said, nope. I said, I got, I got, I got a lot of work to do. Aaron performed for fans and well-wishers at the Birthplace Theater and said representing Tupelo as an Elvis tribute artist is extra special. <laughs> he was also given a commemorative brick that will be placed near the Elvis statue at Fair Park. This is just as big for me as the ultimate is for, for anybody. Like it's, it's just like that perfect stepping stone to the next level because he started here and of course, there's Memphis, right? So that's, it, it's just no pressure. <laughs> it's right. no, no pressure at all. Elvis Week also means larger crowds at the birthplace and museum. Executive Director Roy Turner says there's even a new option for tour groups. We encourage all the tour buses to try to do a two-day stint. Uh, mm -hmm. We're successful with some. In fact, we've started a dinner theater option back here at the birthplace. Okay where we will have them a nice catered meal and an entertainer, either a tribute artist or if they want gospel or blues or a rock and roll band, we've got several options for them to encourage them to overnight. Fan day at the birthplace is this Saturday. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. For a complete rundown of fan day activities at the Tupelo Elvis birthplace and museum, go to our website, that's WCBI.com.